And we're live. Hail, hail, the gang's all here. They're not all here yet. Well, they're coming slowly, but slowly. Plenty of room, plenty of room. It's room to the left, room to the right. <laughs> So let's see who's here. We have Linda and Cheryl and Patricia. Hello, Lori. Hello, Lori Loved your Joy. last video. Doris and Kathy and Joy. Hello, Victoria. Yep. Good evening. I'm sure our moderators will be here shortly. We've all been chit-chatting today. I'm going to move this up a little bit so you guys can see last week's things. And there's Michelle. So we're going to do a lot of giveaways tonight, aren't we? It's not always feeling festive in the giving mood. I am. I feel very Christmassy. And there's Susan and Shelly. All right. Jelly's here. We can start. <laughs> All right. So last week, this was your first E, right? Your first painting. That was my first one. Yeah, with the head. Isn't this beautiful? I just love those cells. They're like little faces. Like right here is a little bear face. Like. It's just, it's really cool. I like this painting a lot. I might resin this one. You even like the center? Yeah, the center is kind of cool. That's that hexatube that Brian made. It's an awesome toy to play with. Date? Hello, Catherine. Hello, Dana. Today. Monica. So it was the seventh. See, I told you they're slowly Six. strolling in. He's not answering me. Who? <laughs> yeah. So then I used our three least popular colors in our paint line, which are now the most popular colors in our paint line. Everybody's been buying them. Let's let's give a hand to Beth because she remembered it's Monday. Yay! Hi Tammy. And there's Nate. I missed anybody. I'm so sorry. It's art by Donna. Hello. Okay, so this was the military green, the buttercream icing, the dark chocolate, and of course I used gold, gold rush. It just came out beautiful. Dried mousse. Well, mousse, glad you could join us. Yeah. Yes, don't forget. Yes, and today is Doris's birthday, and it's my mama's birthday, too, whose name is Doris as well. So we have two Doris's birthdays today. This was your, what did you pour on? You washed it, do you remember? I didn't wash it. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't wash it, where is it? <laughs> it's in a pail somewhere. <laughs> Still soaking. <laughs> Uh, that was Alan's. It was an elevated um, with a, a hint bottle. Hint bottle bottom. Yep. So that's that one. All right. So off of this painting, I pulled four cabs to make magnets. Cabs are short for. Cabochon. Cabochons. So I'm going to put them together tonight so you can see how I do that. All this stuff for magnets is in my Amazon shop too. Let me bring it down. We're going to be moving the camera a lot tonight, guys. So hold on to your seats. Make sure you stay up your seatbelt on. Yes. All right. You don't want to get them too close together because they do like to like snap. But these come with the stickers. So just stick 
this part on first. And this, these are really good stickers. And what I like to do is just take my fingers and line it up before I push down. And then push down once. And then you've got a magnet. Very simple to make. Not a lot of finish work to a magnet. The good thing is you're not using like Gorilla Glue or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, before I was like gluing the glass cabs onto skins and then having to cut them out, file the edges. This is so much easier. It's a cool magnet. See, they jump on top of each other. <laughs> well, let's see. Get these done and I'll have to do them later. There's another one. These sell great at craft fairs if you do shows. Everybody wants to buy a little piece of your art. So I always say make sure you have single coasters. You can sell them between five and eight dollars. Magnets you could do five bucks a piece or three for ten or three for twelve. Just nice little small things that people can pick up last minute so there i have four done i and think cynthia's got a great idea brian candy with each of one of your tools <laughs> so i finished that one off so tonight we're going to be pouring on jars but before i do that i want to show you the results of our collab Since I didn't have a dry result up for you yesterday during the collab, I thought we'll show them tonight. Up we go. <laughs> they dried very nice. So it wasn't just two that we did. We actually did three. And let me tell you why we did three. <laughs> There's a funny story to this. There's a very funny story to this. This was our third painting. So let's start from the very beginning. If you watch the club, you know that I dressed Alan up as an elf with myself. But we got together up here and I put his apron on him. I put his hat on him. I remember first we were going to do it Tuesday night. And yeah. I came home and I was like, doesn't matter what exhausted. night. It doesn't matter what night it was because it doesn't matter what night it was. And when I would have put the hat on you, you still would have said it. So <laughs> I put his hat on, his apron, his hat. Then I put his uh, glasses, glasses on. on. And he says to me, I hate you. <laughs> he did not appreciate me dressing him up like an elf. But he did good. And we did not fight, so that's not a reason. Okay, so this was the first painting that we did. I forgot to push record. So that one got put aside. Want to take that one? So, there was a few curse words. There. Yeah, there were a lot of curse words on that one. That's, you know, we, can't, we couldn't show it because it didn't film. So then we did this one. A few more curse words. But we missed the recording of the pour for this one. So we couldn't put this one up either. So needless to say, we did three paintings. <laughs> the tray, sweetheart. This? Yep. And I got this gift from Mr. Bentley, Mona's grandson. This came in the mail. It's so beautiful. He's a talented little guy. just love him and he signed it to Christina love Bentley he's so sweet Mona keep him sweet because he's a sweet little kid 
I love it. I can't wait to put it on display. So is that all I have to show? I think so. I think so. Oh. He's so. a cute little guy. So tonight we are going to pour 74 ounce jars. And I'm going to take you from start to pouring because a lot of people buy them and don't know how to prep them. There we go. A little crooked. Why am I so crooked? There we go. It's a little better. Because you're just a little tipsy. All right. I'm not tipsy. So I take the lid off, put it aside because you don't need it until the base itself is finished. You're going to have a sticker. I get these jars at Hobby Lobby and I buy in bulk. I always buy a case that way. They're shipped in the original box. They don't arrive damaged. So before I do anything to this jar, I put my gloves on. And why do I put gloves on, Alan? Because you're a type A personality. Now, why do we put gloves on before we clean glass? So we don't get any oil residue from our skin on the glass. Very good. See, I pay attention once in a while. He does pay attention. Once in a while. So I'm just going to squirt it down a little bit with some alcohol. And I didn't do the bottom because I'm going to do that separately. And then I do the bottom because that's where the label is at. And if you get any stickiness, that waits on your paper towel last. We need the big cups tonight up on top. Because these, it's hard to find a cup that fits on the bottom of these. So I need one of those and then I need four of the other ones. So you might as well leave, you can leave those down here. Give me four of the paper ones. You can bring them down too. So I like to put this. This is the big McDonald's cup. Those are the smaller ones. That way it fits inside of the jar. And you're still up quite a bit. So now I'm going to bring you guys down. And we're going to flip you around a little bit. Um, I don't want to make anybody seasick. <laughs> we got a few more people that are coming in. Hello, Tara and Linda. There we go. JHA Art Studio. That's Jack. Green Rumor. All right. Parchment paper, babe. I'm setting you up for your first pour. So I'm not going to worry about the paint that runs off because I don't need any more skins. If we see something really cool, we'll dip it. Are you waiting for me? Yeah. Um, these cups here are enough to cover that. Seems like an awful lot of paint. It's not though, really, because you really, it's this lip here. Um, when you start pouring, you might want to tap that a little bit to get it going over the edge. Okay. Okay. Colors. Pick your colors. Oh, Lord. <laughs> no silicone. There's your choices. If you need more, I have more in the cabinet. So, so what would happen if you used silicone? Just it, it would skip. It would skip off the jar and leave a funny spot. You don't get the nice blend of color. We've tried it before. Have we? Yeah. I don't remember that. I don't know. 
You can actually bring some of those out here and get them out of the way. Why are you shaking your head at your own color? <laughs> There's a champagne shimmer there. That's probably going to be too gold with, or too dark with that. Yeah. And I need to grab some knockoff while you're doing this. One more? Sure. <laughs> I'm shaking my head at him like, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Actually, those four are probably enough, but I would put a pink in there instead of a purple. Do a pink one for Brian. That's not pink, honey. That's, That's purple. Raspberry. Yeah. Well, pull this and use that instead, and there you go. All right. You can use black or white. No silicone. You good? No, but huh? we'll make it work. So make sure that they can see you fill your cup. We're on an angle. Wow. wow. It's a weird angle, isn't it? Color choices. After I was waved off on about four of them. Purple raspberry. Again, these are Barrage Posse paints. No silicone. Gold Rush. Brian, I said how much you love pink. Morning Pansy Shimmer. Champagne Shimmer. So, this is what, a 12 ounce cup? I think they're 12, yes. I still think this is going to be too much paint. You know, like a Brian amount of paint. Oh, thank you, Kathy. I think they're cute, too. So Vicky was out shopping with her mom the other day. Oh Lord. And she found Brian's new outfit. Let's see if I can show it on camera. So there's Brian's Christmas dress that she's buying for Brian. <laughs> she's just teasing Brian. You know, Brian, if you live closer, she probably would have bought that for you. <laughs> probably. <laughs> okay, I'm not filling it all the way up. So there is my four colors. I got about, I would say, maybe nine ounces of paint. Maybe. Maybe. Can you pull your face to the center? I was going to. That. At least I got, I got my gloves on, so I'm not getting any oils on it unless I rub my arm against it. It is not, Brian. <laughs> so, the one thing we got is the bottom here is yes, kind of sunk. Will, we will suck that out with, uh, with a straw. Right? With a I will let Brian suck it out with a straw. 
So before I start painting, I don't think that's quite. You can try it the other way, Alan, putting, I think those big cups go right inside that other one though. Well, it's elevated enough that Let's give it a pour. Can you move your arm up? There you go. Oh, that's pretty. Doesn't really matter what kind of design I have on top because we're going to suck it out. I left a little paint in the cup in case I need it. I love watching that just flow right down. Gravity at work. That lip is getting covered pretty good. So while we're waiting for that to drip, let's do our first giveaway. That was pretty lame. You don't know what volume level everybody's on, so I try well, to keep why, it. That's why I hit it hard because the ones that are wearing um <laughs> the ones that are wearing earphones get to suffer more. I'm just kidding. <laughs> There's a number. You pick first one. We have three pretty prizes at the end, so if you stay and watch all night, you'll get a chance to win something bigger. Let's go with. Uh, I told you which one I want. These. Okay. Okay, so <laughs> Mana White. I don't know if you can focus on that or not. There it goes. Come on, camera. So that's for the giveaway for right now. I already forgot the number I wrote down. There we go. Sterling wires. So I'll just set this right on the vase. No. <laughs> don't do that. So if you're new to our channel... We pick a number between 1 and 50. If you live inside of the United States, we pay the shipping. If you're outside of the U.S., you pay the shipping. Not yet, Brenda. We'll let you know when to start. Not yet. Gotta wait for Alan to get ready. I'm ready. You can say. Go ahead. Any mark. Get set. Go. And they're off. And they are off. They are running. So many close ones. Pretty soon everybody will be timed out. We have a winner. And it is Susan Johnson. Congratulations, Sue. Number is 28. So one thing we're going to do, we're going to eliminate or er, Allow one win tonight. Yes, one person. So if you do win, 
please allow others to participate in the rest of the giveaways. We're gonna do one more. Ooh, another one? Yep, I'm gonna do two each time. The running the shipping table. What you got? Let me pick another one. Okay. Into the bag of goodies we go. Now these are all hand painted beads by Christina. From a long time ago. <laughs> long time ago, far, far away. Hi, Deanne. If you're lagging, refresh, guys. Okay. So let me put the number down here. And what we have is hand painted snowmen. Those are Santa's, Carolyn, not snowmen. Snowmen with Santa hats. They're Santa. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Can you um, remind me what the number was? <laughs> I got short term memory today for some reason. Okay. <laughs> Pretty bad because I wrote it down. Too. Okay, I had to look at the other one three times before I could embed it in my memory. <laughs> I have to write it on a chalkboard. Dan got her Santa earrings. Okay, so all right, again, number between one and 50. Sue will let you sit this one out. And ready, set, go. Number between one and 50. We have a winner. Art flow by Mo. Is it down further? Yep, a little more, right there. Okay. Number was 16. Congratulations, Mo. And that base is looking pretty spectacular. Or that drawer, I should say. Ooh, I love the other side. Wait till he turns it, guys. It's so pretty. I need to move some more stuff, don't I? Some stuffs. I can put those there. So you want me to spin this around? Yeah, you can just actually just turn the parchment paper. You can. Okay. I love the other side too. Kind of Easter-y, but it, of course it will dry much darker. Yeah, that's that's pretty. Love it. The entire lip is covered, which is good. Yep. Well, I always scrape that off anyway. So, so what are we gonna do with this? We're gonna suck it out. Right? Yep. Straw? No. <laughs> Please, no. It just takes the um, thickness out so you don't end up having a peeling or cracked vase on the bottom or jar. Of course, I cork mine before I send them out the door so they don't damage your furniture, but... You don't want to leave that much paint in there. And we've tried it with a spoon. It just doesn't come out as nice. So it's easier just to suck paint out. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend using a straw, though. Some people like the taste of paint. I just doesn't appeal to me. <laughs> Brian sounded like he was sucking on a milkshake. <laughs> Interesting how that becomes a different almost, color. Almost purple. Yeah. yeah they can't see that though, honey. You're not that's not in the screen. Okay. 
probably one more. You should be okay. Ooh. Yeah, that's the only thing with the dips in the bottom like that. It's a bummer. You go one more. I still think that's pretty deep. It's pretty deep. It's still a lot of there. It's like a quarter inch, oh, about an eighth of an inch. Need a vacuum hose. Suck it right out. Okay. Now. Fold your paper to the middle. Move that, please. And we're just going to slide it over here. I'll take it. Say bye bye. <laughs> Just like that. These will be dry tomorrow. I can move them tomorrow. I might have to move a couple tonight, but we'll see. So I got a little extra paint there. I don't want it. You know, he stood here. He could have put his paints away. <laughs> you said leave them out. Yeah, you can, bring, you can leave them down here and just put the caps on them. All right. I'll get mine cleaned off here. Oh, of course, I get one with the crappy label. Yeah, go ahead and snicker, buddy. <laughs> snicker doodle. I don't know where my scraper's at either. Thank you, thank you. It's coming. It's I'm, not, coming. I'm not the only one snickering. Brian is too. Brian? Be nice. Now Shelly says soak them in hot water for about 10 minutes and they slide right off. Well, I don't have time for that. Sounds like too much work, Shell. Joanne says blow it with a blow dryer and hat. That's what I do for my boxes to get them off. I'm going to do that. Uh, or you could just get some goo off. Yeah, I have goo gone too. Okay. Let me spray that real quick and get that rest of that residue off on this one. And she's doing exactly what Maria said. Spray some alcohol on it. Julie thought same thing. That's what I do. I used to work at Hallmark. I used to have to take price tags off things all the time. Another thing you can do is put a piece of packing tape on it and pull it off. Now, Green Rumor had a suggestion of putting a funnel on the top so that you don't have all the excess paint on the bottom. Yeah, but then you have to paint the bottom still. Or you could just paint the sides and then let some run in. Let me grab some cups. Whoops, wrong way. I had a blonde moment. It's getting that centered on there. Make what Brian and I Could I have a piece of parchment paper, please? You should.
Much cheaper. Watch your vase. You almost hit your vase. I did not. Alan, I would not be surprised if there's not purple paint on here. Ay, 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 matka boski, ich zama stać pa dupia. Shakra piawa. Polish is coming out. So Tara wants to know, could you tilt the excess off? You could, and it would run down the side. Yes. <laughs> Susan knows what I said. Of course you do. So I'm going to use Deep Lagoon. Buttercream icing, because I want to use this up. Hello, Lori, and good night, Moose. Thank you for joining us. Good night. How about... Where is it? Where are you? Cynthia Porter says she's been binging vases. And this is Seafoam Green from our Coastal Collection. And I'll probably put some gold in there as well. I like some sparkle. Linda, you didn't know boots, did you? Linda Sariana says, oh my God, Christine, I haven't heard that Polish in years. <laughs> All right. Slide over here. Let's start with the Deep Lagoon. So it'll be my last color out. And then the buttercream. Sea foam. I haven't done anything with this on a vase yet, so this should be cool. And I am a little out of breath today, guys. I'm still fighting something. But my ribs are killing me from coughing the other day. And it's not me that she's fighting. No, I'm not fighting you. It's because I already won. <laughs> but I already promised my group of friends that if I was not better by Wednesday, I would go to the doctor. I just think I'm worn out as well. Too much going on. We've had a lot of things happen in our life this past month, so we haven't been resting as much as we should be. And a little bit of gold. Now, I pour a little bit different than Alan does, so mine's going to look different. I like to do a loop-de-loo around the edge. To make sure I'm getting it all going down. Do a little here and a little there. A lot of times when you're pouring, you'll be like, oh, I love that, and you stop. But it's actually going to run off, so keep going. Don't be afraid to use your paint. Any questions, guys? 
Well, I think while we're waiting for that little ooze. The ooze. The ooze. The ooze. Time for more giveaways. I have my number. I gotta look at it again because I already forgot. Man, that's bad. Is it the number I thought it was? I don't know. Do you, do you forget what it is? Yeah. <laughs> so this one has little holly leaf earrings. You can't really tell because it's not focusing. I'll force it to focus. Sterling silver ear wires. number between 1 and 50 and if you've already won tonight please step back and let someone else win on your mark get set go Keep going. <laughs> Don't time yourself out, though. <laughs> we have there it is. Julie. Julie. The number was seven. Congrats, Julie. Here's that one. One more to do before our next thing. Alan just gave me a number. These are my favorite because I just love, I love to paint. These are so simple to paint. So I got little snowmen's with carrot noses. So if everybody's ready, we're going to go ahead and do that and double check the number again. Oh my goodness. <laughs> On your mark, get set, go. We have a winner. And we do. Cynthia Porter Studio. Congratulations, Cynthia. The number was 42. Congratulations. Make sure you in, um, email me with your mailing address. Because I don't have yours. There you go. All right. So I see some interesting drippy marks here that I want to pull. From that base or jar. <laughs> I have them right here in front of me. So what I'm going to do is just pop it up a little bit so I can get to them and then I'll put it back there. But these are really cool. Cynthia says, yes, yes, yes. Thank you so much. You got me now. <laughs> Ooh, that's a pretty one. So you'll see these next week. We'll show them. And we are going to be here next week. We are not taking Monday off. I know it's close to the holidays, but we'll be here. Okay, there's two. Let me get one more. I like to try to get three. Hmm. So many interesting spots. Julie says she's at the same address for at least another two and a half, three weeks. Okay, girlfriend. I got you. All right. So I'm going to pop 
pop him back in the middle here. I can almost use a spoon, huh? Still think the strawberry test. I'm not sucking it out. Hey, Brian, we need a new toy for sucking paint out the top of a jar. <laughs> Instead of a puffy 2000, how about a sucky 2021? <laughs> Just remember, Cynthia, go with your first instinct. Okay. Rochelle wants to know, would a turkey baster work better? It probably would, but I took all mine apart because I used to up for the bloom. Okay. I think we may have to put them on the rack. I can do that. You have gloves on? I think it's gloves on. All right. Take yours. We'll just do it like inter, intermingle, intermingling them. Off of the... Mm -hmm. Do you need help? Paint's still pretty wet. should be easier. And then we'll just slide this one over and then we'll do the next one after. I'm amazed I didn't drop that. Yeah, I'm kind of shocked too. <laughs> Can you go around the other side and hold the pad because it's coming with it? Thanks, baby. Teamwork. Teamwork makes the dream work. I'll move my paints for you. Well, at least some of them. This one spent. You're gonna need four. Four on top of one of those plastics to keep it up high enough. All right. Four like that. Yeah. Um, parchment. Do you want me to do that for you? You make me so nervous. On that vase or jar. Gosh, I keep calling vase. Get lucky and get a whole piece off. You're awesome. Ta -da. I don't say that too often. There you go. So I have any problem. Yes, yeah, sure. Gee-haw. Gee-haw bunch. But I am still going to squirt it. Oh, yeah, I didn't clean it. That's why I said I'm going to squirt it. Good night, Catherine. There was still a little residue of the glue on the bottom, so... I don't wipe the glass off. And just okay. No, I did not. I got it right there. That's <laughs> Color choices. So Larry wants to know, do you guys wash out the cups or do you wear a big coat? What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> what 
What does that mean, Larry? <laughs> Alan's going to pick his colors. I order my paper cups from Websterant by the case. But I also have probably 250 Burger King cups that my mom saves for me because she used to go to Burger King every day for lunch and she would save her cup but they're in my cabinet I can't get to them um yeah Tara like I liked what was going on with that so I didn't dare tip it it, will, it would just push the design down, and what you get was whatever's on the top of the vase. That would be your design coming down over the edge. Okay. I'm not sure about this color combo, but we're going to give it a try anyways. Thank you, Joanne. We appreciate you. You're awesome. Silver Lake Metallic. Susan's Heirloom Rose Shimmer. Sleeping Beauty Turquoise Shimmer. The mystery color, dark chocolate shimmer. Oh. What was that? Ooh, from the I audience. I only caught two colors, so I have no clue what you put in between the silver lake and the chocolate. But I will see it now. And the object is to keep the paint inside the cup. <laughs> and that and the other bottles. <laughs> You're silly. You so silly. These new jugs, I'm not used to them yet. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep those on the wall. We have tons of bottles, so it's a big deal. It's hard when you've been trained with a squirt bottle and you have to switch to a pouring bottle. It's like that lip on that hexa tube, Doris. You gotta get it just right, go around. I don't think these would squeeze very well though, Kath. They're a little stiff. They're a lot stiff. The bottles, yeah. Yeah. I haven't checked that though, because I think someone had said that too. Maybe it was you that had said it before. Is that Victoria's Muscadine or is that chocolate? That's chocolate. Okay. Chocolate. Chocolate. So I'm gonna go with Christina's design thought process about 
kind of little willy nilly. Willy nilly, you're funny. Do a little cursive on the top. A little cursive? Is that what you said? Yes. Boy, that silver light took over, didn't it? It did. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Was that Susan's heirloom rose in there? Yes. I think you could have used more of that. So while we're Good night, Donna. We're waiting that for that to momentumize. Hi Roxanne. Let's go with a little Victoria's in the timeout corner when we get to the beach, by the way. Just let me know. <laughs> um, Number, please. Surely. Ha. Ha. for that we have a pair of penguin earrings penguins again hand painted by Christina sterling silver ear wires and everybody ready on your mark get set Number two and one and fifty, go. <laughs> we have is. a winner. Roxanne. Roxanne is our winner. Number was twenty-one. Congratulations, Roxanne. Do you have Roxanne's address? I'm not sure, but she can email me. Okay. You got one more, right? Yep. Let's see what we got to give away this time. You like picking, don't you? So what do you think about these? No, that's fine. You're good. Okay. So I have my number. I'll put that down. I'm showing you the next item up for bit. No. The next giveaway. <laughs> item up for bit. <laughs> Little reindeer. Rudolph. Rudy. So again, number one to 50. If you already won tonight, please let somebody else win. And on your mark, number between one and 50. Get set. And go. You need to fix the camera too when you're done.
gotten good on this one, didn't we? Yeah, they were pretty good on the last couple. Number between one and fifty. There it is. Lori Houston. Congratulations, Lori. Number is 41. You want, to, want me to see if I have a turkey baster? There might be one in this cabinet over here. I'll bring a new one. I know where there's one in the kitchen. Yeah, that's a good one, <laughs> mister. But if not, you could try. They're so stiff, though. I can open these. That's up. okay. Um. I'll just, I'll suck quick this you time. You can spoon it. I'm good. It takes, now, it takes forever with that thing. Sue mentioned something. What's Sue that? Jansen. She says she has used a stick to get some interesting patterns too. So, and she pulls it across. So it drops back down on the base? Yeah. What do you think? Well, let's get focused first. I got gold paint on my fingernail. <laughs> so, as Christina had mentioned, the Silver Lake seemed to kind of take over big time. Right there on the shelf. On the shelf. Oh. There you go. I knew I had a brand new one here somewhere. Ta da! <laughs> Some paint? No, thank you. Paint. I have lots of paint. Okay, so let's see what the turkey baster is going to do. You got to kind of circle, I think. And stay off the bottom. Oh my God, he's got to have sound effects. <laughs> Ew. Uh, that's a little better. Oh yeah, that sucks it out much faster. Tap it down and then squish it out. I like to do it that way. He did the number was 41, honey, not 31. One more. That should be good. And then you've got to move that other one. I'm just squirting all over the place. Mm -hmm. You sloppy. You sloppy. So remember that color combination because Silver Lake takes over. Yes, you should have used a lot more of Susan's um, heirloom rows. Dun, dun, dun. Way in the back, way in the back, way in the back. I have lots of things to pour this week. Last minute stuffs. 
as Brian would say, stuffs. All right, you can take that one. Love song parts. You do? Can I have a parchment, please? I'm not sure I like that one, Al. I don't either. You can always wash it off and re-pour it later. Jar? Cups? While you're over there? While I'm over here? While you are over there. that one. Um, maybe resin? Who knows? <laughs> it's not in the paint. That's the key. That's right. Ta da, got that one. What did you learn from me? No. I think she's seven. Hello, Tammy. Glad you could join us. Okay. Who the alcohol is strong? Better off with tequila. <laughs> oh, my ribs are killing me. Okay. Let's use some Shelly's Masquerade. Some Christina's Laguna. So Cecilia wants to know, do these jars, jars have lids? They do. They're just a little snap-in lid. You can use them for a cookie jar or a dog treat jar or a stash jar. We'll use Maria's Shimmering Spruce. Good night, Cynthia. Hmm. I don't have any Snow White. I have a little bit of Snow White. Okay. All right. What order do I want to go? So I think I want Shelly's to come out last since it's my contrast. So we'll start with, let's take the top off. <laughs> start with Shelly's. And then Christina's Laguna. Uh, we'll do Maria's. So Jansen says she's used a lot of that Maria's Shimmering Spruce this weekend and she loved it. It is very pretty color. I love these jars with black, white, and gold as well. I thought we've already done those. So we're trying some new colors. And I'm going to finish with Shelly's too. Okay. My fairy's swearing at Brian. She's 
She's allowed. It's his sister. Which saves me the hassle of having to do it. I don't yell at Brian. So Cecilia says, how about black, gray, and red? The only thing that bothers me is the gray and the red touching each other with that color combo. I'm a Vikings fan, Julie. I love purple and that school bus orange yellow color together. I may have to try one of those because my son is still a Vikings fan. He still watches them and supports them. Read, read, uh, dude. <laughs> All right, so while we're waiting for that one to fall, give me a number. I lost my bang of gong. Sorry about wimpy. The tired bang of gong. Okay. I think I can remember that one. Can you remember it? Maybe. We'll test you in 15 seconds of this time. Little blue beads with snowflakes. Everybody ready? Number between 1 and 50 on your mark, get set, go. There it is. Nita, you finally won. <laughs> Number was 49. Nita got that one. She got it right this time. Congratulations, Nita. Let's see. And that's hard to pick a number, isn't it? <laughs> so Alan's picking a number. Like I'll, picking I'll show candy. you. These are frosted glass with little snowmen on them. Sterling silver ear wire. It's like watching me choose paint colors. It is, kind of. <laughs> Okay, so we have a number. Yay. Everybody ready? On your mark, get set, go.
There it is. Joyce Davidson with number four. Congrats, Joyce. All right, let me suck the paint out of this one. Congratulations, Joyce. So stick around, guys, because we have three more prizes that we're going to do as soon as I move this jar. And these are a little different prizes. We think you'll be happy that you hung around. Sound like Brian sucking out of that straw. It's like three more. What have you lost your mind? No, it's Christmas. We are in the giving spirit. We sure are. We love our subscribers and people that come and hang out with us on Monday nights. And besides, we have Christmas alone because we can't be with our families. So you are our family. So I am done with this one. Alan, you want to move your Silver Lake base out of the jar out of the way? <laughs> that was a cute giggle. Smirk. You know, if I drop this one, it really wouldn't hurt my feelings too Just much. don't break the jar. I don't care if you drop it. <laughs> so like I said, you can get these jars at Hobby Lobby. Best way to buy them is buy the case so they wrap them really nice and shipped. There's six in a case. Want to pull that one over? You didn't have any that got broken, right? Um, I had one, but they replaced it. So, well, they refunded my money. I could do send them a picture if they arrive broken and they'll refund you. It's kind of sad, though, because you're like, oh, the lid's still good. <laughs> Do you want to grab those other three? <coughs> what other three? Prizes. Oh. Do you want to show off a couple of vases? Or... No. No? Mm -mm. Did you drive yourself? Those are old ones, babe. They've already seen those. All right. You want one at a time or you want all three? Give me all three. We're going to do three numbers. Go boom, boom, time. boom. No, we're going to go boom, boom, boom. No, we're not doing three at one time. Can you imagine trying to do that? Yeah, that would not work for me. <laughs> so these are our last three prizes. Of course, we're going to get a glare from the light. They're really pretty Christmas tree ornaments. So you can hang a little bit of Christina Welch art on your tree. I saved these special just for tonight because I only had three. Because I gave away what? Alan gave out 23, 23 ornaments today. And everybody that he gave them to were like, do you have more? We want to buy some. <coughs> and I said, I'm not making more. First number. First number. You ready, guys? All right, number between one and fifty. I have to look again. Before we start, the people that won the earrings, can they win this? Yeah, if you want earrings, you can play again. Let's do that. Yeah, because this is a, a very nice gift. So, okay. so if you won before tonight, you can still win again. Yeah, Susan and Roxanne and everybody that won earrings, Julie, Enjoys. everybody, you can play again. Yeah, and, like, and you oh, can yeah. play. Everybody's entitled to play tonight. Angie can play. All right. Jeez, now I got to look the number again. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I need to go to bed. <laughs> Are you ready, guys? On your mark, get set. 
Go. Yes, yeah, Doris, Doris, you can too. Everybody can play. There we it is. And we got a winner. Joanne, number 29. Congratulations, Joanne. For one, we have two more. Wait for Alan to give me a number. <coughs> oh. Can you remember that? I can remember that one. Are you sure? All right, guys. We stop, stop, stop. We can't go again until we stop. I know you're lagging. If you're lagging, please refresh. You're going to make me forget the number now. Because <laughs> I just did. That was gone. <laughs> All right, we're calm, we're chill. All right, <laughs> get a look again. All right, let me, let me see. It was what I thought it was. Did you forget to? Uh, uh look. Okay, <laughs> you forgot too. We're tired. Oh my goodness. Okay, guys, on your mark, get set, go. There it is. KB. KB is our winner. I don't know who you are, but please email me. The winning number was 37, and KB was our winner on that one. Congratulations, KB. Stop. Stop, stop, stop. I know we have lag. We give you guys eight seconds, and that's like, okay, stop. Baby, I need a number. Did I take your pencil? No. Oh. What's that? I already did that one. <laughs> and I already did the ones beside it, too. Okay, that'll work. <laughs> Ah, so funny. All right, last ornament of the evening, and then we are heading out. She's a beauty. Let's see how good you guys are at guessing numbers. Did I forget? <laughs> no, you didn't. I did. All right, guys, on your mark, get set, go. There it is. Yeah, Go back. I didn't see it, honey. Margaret Kilmer. Margaret Kilmer is our winner. The number was 25. Congratulations, Margaret. Thank you guys so much for joining us tonight. We had a pretty, pretty good crowd tonight. Congrats to all of our winners. I hope that you can enjoy this stuff before Christmas. We'll get them right out tomorrow in the mail. And uh, we definitely will be back here next Monday night. I'm not sure um, what we will have for a giveaway next Monday night. It's so close to Christmas. So we may go back to our original giveaways. And just a couple, you know. But since it's the holiday season, we wanted to get this stuff out quick. And Wasn't that fun? Uh, it was fun. It was fun giving away. We love giving stuff away. But also mark your calendars because we will be here New Year's Eve. And we'll probably start. What did we start last time? Nine? Nine p.m. till probably one in the morning. So 
Yeah, I don't think we're going to do six hours again. Yeah, I don't think we'll do six hours either. We'll probably be pouring coasters and who knows what else. But uh, we will see you all again next Monday night. Maybe I'll get a video up this week. Who knows? <laughs> but we love you all and we will see you again soon. Have a great evening. Bye now. <laughs>